I'm at the Himalayas Art Center. I was here last year. It's um, off Line 7. Kind of hard to walk here from Longang Station on Line 2, but just connect to Line 7 and go to the terminal stop. Uh, Huamu, is it? Station. And then uh, get out exit 5 would probably be the closest. And it's in the uh, Himalayas building, which has a small art gallery, which is right out there. And there's a teapot thing going on. When I was here last time, I think they had some African art. And uh, downstairs, it looked like they had it all piled up, the lanterns that'll go out uh, in a month or so for the uh, Chinese New Year Spring Festival. So, Sean Scully, born Ireland, moved to London, Newcastle University in the 80s, became a United States citizen. His biggest influences artistically, Mondrian, Matisse, Rothko. So, abstract expressionism, a little fauvism maybe. On the short short list, major painters of our time, according to the critic Arthur C. Danto, bricklayer on the soul, according to Bono. 150 public collections uh, from the MoMA to the Met, London's Tate, Barcelona's building a museum dedicated just to him. Not familiar with this work, but they're mentioning here a wall of light paintings. He's not the one that uh, I did the experience in Los Angeles at the LACMA, Los Angeles uh, County Museum of Art where I went in the little light booth and they had some white, uh, some light uh, dark rooms with light paintings on the wall. I don't think it's the same guy, the guy who was building a thing out in Arizona, northern Arizona by Meteor Crater. I don't think it's the same guy. Maybe along the same lines anyway. Elements of minimalism, even zen-like, huh? His first exhibition in China. This is steel piled up like empty boxes. China piled up. Steel capital of the world. Corten steel. I was depressed for a day. I lost my phone and maybe a month's worth of GPS uh, tracking through the Galileo app. I sucked it up, ordered a couple new phones through the T-Mobile plan that allows you to have like five lines for $100 and all of them will work internationally. So you can have data on every phone. And then I go out at night. I don't need to carry multiple phones. I can just have one phone. So last night I went back to the clubs where I lost the phone. Um, mint 7th floor and missed. <laughs> just to prove to myself that I could have a good time and not lose my fucking phone. And I met, <laughs> it was funny, because when I lost my phone at uh, Mist, I had it all the way to the end of the night, and I don't know what I did, I was getting a girl's number or something, and um, I met another girl from, I was like, oh, I lost, too bad I lost her number, she's from Harbin. I met another girl from Harbin. <laughs> There's plenty of fish in the sea, right? Actually, I met her at, um, I met her at seventh floor, and then she invited me to go to Mist with her. Why do you have to be so cruel? I got that song in my head. They're still playing the one that they were playing last year all the time. Not as much though at the club. I crashed my car into the bridge and then I let it burn. I don't care. Centrum <laughs> für Kunst und Medientechnology Karlsruhe Germany, ZKM, the Center for Kunst and Methodology, was it? Black and white.
Whilst most of the exhibition is organized chronologically, this first room showcases black and white works made over a wide period of Sean Scully's career. Hmm. The words of English poet William Blake. Without contraries, there is no progression. Responding to abstract expressionism, my work takes the form of abstraction and moves back into the world. My position is not puritanical. It is inclusive, profoundly sexual, consistently idealistic. I want to express contradictions in the human spirit. The Tao of Physics, 1980. Hmm. Sustained engagement with elements of Chinese and more generally Asian culture. Black belt and karate, huh? I never got my black belt. They wanted too much money. I just had them keep putting blue stripes on my red belt. <laughs> because it wasn't even a black belt. It was a midnight blue belt. So I said, keep adding blue stripes. Eventually I'll have a black belt. <laughs> they wanted like $1,000. I didn't think the school was very well run. And then after I got like six or seven blue stripes, it kind of got ridiculous. The school closed for embezzlement. And the uh, eighth degree Don who ran it was a fucking jerk. Just closed it without any notice. It may be that his black and white paintings are on one level as acknowledgement of power of Asian culture. After all, black ink on white paper is one of the central forms of art in China. Yeah, it's true. On the other hand, Sean's attachment to color black is also a sign of his passion for Spanish painting from Velasquez to Goya and Picasso. I was out this way yesterday. I uh, got up late, but salvaged the afternoon to make it to the Shanghai Animation and Comics Museum, which is out off the terminal station of Line 2, Guanglan Station. You actually keep going on Line 2, you just have to change trains. You can take Line 2 all the way to Padang International Airport, but the uh, Maglev is a faster way if you change it long yang. Where I did today, I actually popped into the Maglev Museum today. Just because uh, it's right across the exit, exit, five, exit three from Long Yang Station. It's free. Didn't change any from last time I went. Moved to America 75. Very dear friends with Robert. Ryman, the minimalist painter, and he found New York exhilarating. New York's a shithole. Especially this time of year. In his early years in New York, he was extremely interested in the morality and austerity and the uncompromising structure of minimalists. Yet over the next few years, the artist became impatient with the purity of minimalism and the groundbreaking groundbreaking backs and fronts with deliberate roughness, impurities, and contradictions. Sean Sully challenged the orthodoxies of abstract painting in America. Gotta get close to these to see the contrast. This stuff used to not really do anything for me, but I appreciate it a little bit more now. I mean, a lot of modern contemporary art is abstract, uh, so you have to uh, conceptualize what you're looking at. I don't know. You know, they should change the fucking name from contemporary art to conceptual art. Such a stupid name, contemporary art. From 1972 forward, modern art from 1945 to, you know, stupid names. They could just say post-World uh, War II period and then uh, information age even. Art. Why do you have to be so cruel? The bather. Hmm. 
somebody lying on a beach towel, sand, or is it bamboo and blue sky? Do they have bamboo oases in the deserts of China instead of palm oases? Probably not. Up by the Kunlun Mountains in the Tarim Basin. I crashed my car into the bridge and then I let it burn. They got some serious mood music issues with this exhibit. It's bringing me down. How did I get upstairs? England. England. My name is Sean Scully. I'm from England. He's like my great grandfather, huh? Irishman. Went to uh, England. 6475. Graphic design studio. Earliest painting, cactus. Central School of Art in London, evening classes. Developing his own language, began as a figurative artist, quickly chose abstraction for a number of reasons, including philosophical ones, reaching across oceans. I think people choose what's in vogue at the time. Yeah, you can definitely see influences of Matisse and Picasso. Fauvism. Cubism, figure in a room, 67, huh? Cactus, 64, so everybody's got to start somewhere. Huh. Soft ending, acrylics. I crashed my car into the bridge and then I let it burn. This is traffic gridlock. I have Superman vision and I can look down and see the water pipes under the streets. Overlay to it looks like Sim City. This is a little jazzy over here. It's got a little Latin mamba flavor to it, just a little. Too much pink. Blaze, 1971. You know, I went to that new uh, museum in Miami there. It was a little disappointing. They named it after that guy, usurped the uh, Miami Museum of Art, Gray Zigzag. They had a few interesting pieces, but the building's interesting too. I think they're planning on glo <laughs> global warming. They jacked it up so high off the ground. So it's right on the bay. I crashed my car into the bridge and then I let it burn. What do we have here? I am looking out at the building across from me and there's an American flag on my window. This is the World Trade Center before it fell. I'm looking out. Hmm. Crossover painting, 
number one, 1974. When did the towers go up? In the 70s, I think, right? They kicked all the little electronics merchants out of that area. I used to have a really cool photo of me in front of the Twin Towers when I went up in uh, college, summer I spent at NYU. And they snap your photo as you're walking in the lobby to go up to the uh, window on the world. Cream, red cream, 1973. And I don't care, I love it. This is good, this is like wood and fabric. Hmm, this is like uh, storage in the attic or something. An unfinished room for storage of fabrics. Grid acrylic. There's some tartan in here, isn't there? Looks like it anyway. This could be tartan. They had a museum on all the tartans when I was at Edinburgh, just at the foot of the castle. I went to the uh, festival, Edinburgh Festival, this summer. I was a little disappointed. There's a lot of avant-garde stuff, one-man shows, and that kind of thing. I don't know that it's real up to snuff for the insane prices. They jack up everything two, three times what it should cost for that month. So I stayed for the first week of it, then went up to visit my cousin at St. Andrews. I don't care, I love it. I crashed my car into the bridge and then I let it ban. Rock walls. Interesting, where are we, the Cotswolds? Nope, too barren. We are somewhere in Northern Europe or Northern North America, Northeast North America. Valencia, Spain, Manhattan. What is this? Wall in Barcelona. Mexico, Dresden. London. Works on paper. Hmm. New York Studio, one of all, which photographs and pastels and watercolors are all set side by side. And this room has the ambition to provide a similarly intimate experience. Intimacy. I like it when they show the atelier of the artist. Kanuhura. Kanuhura. Sounds Japanese. Don't fall over. These are the doors, huh? That looks like Santa Fe there on the lower left. There too, maybe. Santa Fe. Well, one was Spain. Now I'm back out of the beginning. Now I can go upstairs, I guess. You know what this reminds me of? Smoke at the LACMA. They have the uh, tetrahedron or whatever with all the uh, big hexagonal columns in the, in the foyer between. Thought they were tearing all that down. I was surprised it was even open last time I was in LA. I crashed my car into the bridge. What's up here? Last time I came here, 
they had just closed an exhibit, I think, on lanterns or something like that. And they had some African art or animistic stuff from around the world, Oceana. I don't think there's much going on up here. Unless I want to buy some candy or something. Malta, India. Sabrosa. Y refrescante. Tesco. I was reading an article about how they're in trouble now. In Britain, financially. Because the new rival there is it uh, Aldi's? Born in Dublin, Ireland. So this him here. So he looks like a creative Jackson Pollock type. Slightly neurotic. Working class area, South London. Local convent schools. I guess he's Catholic. Maybe not though. If he left. Might be Protestant. Harvard. Evening classes, London. Go this way to the rest of the exhibit. Too many primary colors. This is nice. He anchored it with too much red. <coughs> Maybe not. Wall of light. Went to Mexico, enthralled by the surfaces of Mayan stones. Described Maya as a culture of walls of light. Made watercolors. Series of paintings, 1990s. Hmm. Major references to sky, wall of light, Mediterranean. Yellow colors of corn, sunny cornfield. Figurative, romantic, poetic painting with vigor. Doric. I crashed my car into the bridge and then I let it burn. I met a guy from Albania last night. He could not close for shit. There's a girlfriend, two girls from Paris. <laughs> I got pushing him to go after the other one. He was like, uh -huh. I don't know what to do. I don't even think about it. Sometimes I just want to fire a hot cup of coffee on people. I crash me car into the bridge. Almost like they're floating, huh? This is the Rothko influence. Of the color color fields. <clears throat> but he's not as uh, depressive with all the black and red, huh? I wonder if he knew Rothko. Must have. It's the South Bund Fabric Market. Shilupu. Bolts of silk. Sucho. Suchu? Suchu. Silk in uh, Putangwa. Some of the texture almost reminds me of Wayne Tybud. They could be candy. 
but the brush strokes are too flat and horizontal, not uh, creamy enough. That's it, I guess, for the exhibit, to have that timeline out there, but they already gave, basically gave the gist of it. Maybe they have a few more interesting photographs of his life. I'll take a few high-res photos for Facebook, and then I want to talk to those ladies.